Hi, it's Adrienne. How are you doing today? And I usually never buy whole collections from ColourPop or anybody else, uh, but this time I got enough of a whole collection to go ahead and uh, do a video on this one collection. And uh, that one is by The Rosé. And so um, I actually did the look without using the palette here. I had enough of the other products to go ahead and do that. And to get started, um, let's see, I have the ColourPop Sounds Grape, and that's what I used on my cheeks. And again, this one is uh, a Super Shock Cheek, and it is uh, from the By the Rosé collection. And so, as far as cheeks, that's where I started there. I used the L'Oreal Age Perfect Serum Foundation in Rose Ivory for my base. And then I also used the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, concealer as far as um, my concealer. So these two were my face uh, bases. And then uh, the Sounds Grape is going to be the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the blush. As far as the bronzer that I used today, I used the Charlotte Tilbury. This is creamed powder uh, bronzer, and it tends to be a little bit, um, it's not a really creamy cream. It's um, a little bit stiffer than that. It's supposed to stay on longer um, because it is more of a stiffer formula. And so uh, that's what I have on for bronzer today. I did go ahead and use um, my Sippin' Super Shocks, and these were part of the uh, By the Rosé, and these were uh, three Super Shock uh, shadows that came in one package, and um, so this is what they look like. I'm trying to get them out of the glare, but still so you can see the color. And uh, this one is, it's a vibe. It's a little bit more orangey than the other ones. And then I have uh, Loungin, which is this one. And um, this one is uh, Sundress. So Sundress right here, Loungin right here. And then of course the um, It's a Vibe. And with It's a Vibe, I used that, um, let's see, on the lid. And then with the, uh, see Lounging, I used this in the crease I used uh, the um, sundress up on the brow bone and I added a ColourPop uh, gel eyeliner to that as well and this is the way that the look came out there we go so uh, fun collection and uh, right now uh, it really looks like the rosy and the pink is really hot right now as far as fashion trends and makeup trends. So yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and show something that was maybe a little bit more on trend. Yeah, on trend. Okay. And then I used the She Glam Mascara as far as the mascara on here. And the Fatale as far as the lipstick. This is from ColourPop as well. And so, yeah, that's color there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some of the ColourPop uh, lip oil on here. Uh, this is actually from a different, yeah, from a different collection. So this one is not part of that. And the Fatale, um, yeah, this one isn't part of that either. So. But there we go, as far as that goes. And so now it's these two on there. There we go. Yeah, that's a pretty lip. That's really nice. And so with roses and pinks being really in, this is the look that I came up with. Um, I also use the Skin Lights by Revlon. This is number 201 Daybreak. And these are an excellent product. Uh, it's a dupe for the Amarazzi uh, from Anastasia, and they don't make 
paper anymore so uh, this is a great dupe and if you see it go ahead and pick it up anything in the skin lights area um, they say that they're highlighters but a lot of people use the darker ones for blushes and um, yeah this is really a good product uh, ColourPop always does great products. Uh, the She Glam you can get over at Sheen, and uh, the ColourPop you can get on the ColourPop website or over at Ulta. As far as some swatches, uh, the top three are going to be swatches of the Super Shock colors, and the bottom is a swatch of the, um, the Sounds Grape blush. So these are what I have on today. And again, I think the look came out really pretty. A little bit darker, so it could definitely go into fall kind of look. And um, yeah, that's the video. And I hope you have a great day, and see you later. Bye.